angles in parallel lines. These are two parallel lines. They are mar marked with arrows. And the line that crosses the parallel lines is called transversal, okay? All right. Now, the first point on the top right corner says corresponding angles are equal. Think of letter F. If you look at angle C and angle G, they are corresponding angles, okay? I will run my pencil over it just you can visualize letter F, okay? This line over here, this one, and this one. And there are other corresponding angles, and you can make out like B and F are corresponding, D and H are corresponding, and A and E are corresponding. There are four pairs of corresponding angles. The second point to my right, Vertically opposite angles are equal. Think of letter X. So here, if you just draw a line over here like this and this, angle A and angle C are vertically opposite. B and D, similarly E and G, F and H, and they are equal, okay? The third point says interior angles add up to 180 degrees. Think of letter C. Now, this point, I want you to look at this, what I have drawn over here. So, the interior angles are angle C and angle F, and they add up to 180 degrees. On the opposite side of the transversal, you have angle E and angle D. They are also interior angles. <clears throat> Fourth point over here says, alternate angles are equal, Think of letter Z. Now, if you think of letter Z this way, so D and F are alternate angles. Similarly, C and E are alternate angles and they are equal. Alternate exterior angles are equal, which means you have angle H and angle B. Similarly, angle G and angle A, they are called alternate exterior angles. Now, find the size of lettered angles, give a reason each time. First of all, angle A and angle 62 degrees, they are interior angles. So A plus 62 should give you 180 degrees. Interior angles, okay? So to subtract 62 from both sides, so A is equal to 180 minus 62. A will be 180 minus 60 is 120. 120 minus 2 is 118 degrees. Here we have now the size of angle A is 118 degrees. Now angle B, you can see there is a straight line here. They add up to 180 degrees. But if you look at 62 and B, they are corresponding angles. So I'll write the easiest one, B equal to 62 degrees. They are corresponding angles, okay? Then if you look at C, A and C are vertically opposite angles. So C is equal to A, so C equal to 118 degrees. vertically opposite angles are equal. And then for D, you have lots of options. D and B are vertically opposite. A and D are on a straight line. C and D are on a straight line. But if you look at 62 and D, D equal to 62 degrees. Alternate angles. They are equal, okay? It says PQ and RS are parallel lines. Find the size of angles A, B, C, and D. Give a reason in each case. Angle A is right over here. What relationship do they have? 136 and A. So A and 136 are alternate angles. So A equal to 136 degrees. Alternate 
angles are equal. Then we have B, A and B are vertically opposite, 136 and B are corresponding. So it depends, whatever you want to choose, but you have to give a proper reason, okay? So let me just write corresponding angles. B equal to 136 degrees, corresponding angles are equal. Then I have angle C on a straight line, 180 minus 36, okay, or A and C are interior, or D and C are alternate, but we haven't found D yet. So let us use angles on a straight line. So C equal to 180 minus 136. The reason is angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So now C is equal to 180 minus 100 is 80, 80 minus 30 is 50, 50 minus 6 is 44 degrees. Now D, there are so many ways you can find angle D. D and 136 are interior, C and D are alternate angles. So D has to be equal to C and the value of D is going to be 44 degrees. The reason is alternate angles. Wants us to prove that the sum of the angles of triangle X, Y, Z must be 180 degrees. That the sum of these three angles, Y, X, and Z is 180 degrees. Now, if you look down over here, this line is a straight line. So you can give the name of the angle as angle A and this one as angle B. Now we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if I add A plus Z plus B, this gives me 180 degrees. And every time I have to write down the reason, angles on a straight line. Okay, now let's look at what relationship can you see with angle A and angle Y? Similarly, angle X and angle B. You see, angle A equal to angle Y and angle B equal to angle X. Both of them share the common reason that is alternate angles. They are alternate angles. A are also alternate. Now, since we have written angle A plus Z plus B is 180 degrees, and when A is equal to Y and B equal to X, therefore, X plus Y plus Z, these three angles inside, should also be equal to 180 degrees. Thank you for watching.